Hello everyone and welcome to another Paleocast Gaming Network video. My name's Thomas, I'm a real paleontologist and today we're going to be playing a game with zero science in it. It's Dino Game by Sockpop. So if you've not heard of Sockpop, they're a small indie game development company and they try to put out one game per month. These games range from quite large games like Similand down to these tiny sort of 20 minute playthrough games like Dino Game. And they're really fun, they have really interesting physics, and they're just really interesting game designs. A lot of them are really, really clever. Uh, I highly recommend them and let's just get into Dino Game. The premise of this game is super simple. You are a space traveller who has visited this dinosaur paradise and somehow while observing the wondrous landscapes and marvellous flora and fauna have fallen out of their spaceship. In order to complete the game, we need to get back to our ship and fly home. In order to do this, there's a really lovely crafting system in the game where you can pick up items and combine them together. And there are lots of different resources scattered around such as sticks, rocks and even dinosaur eggs. You'll also notice that there are several types of tree, complete with the fruit of the banana, lemon or lime varieties. You can chop down the trees to get at the fruit, or you can harvest them sustainably using ladders, and they will grow back. Fruits are vital as eating them recharges your stamina, and it turns out that the pesky giant dinosaurs that roam this land all have a taste for these delicious and exotic fruits. Feeding the dinosaurs helps them bond with you, and might be a potential for escaping this prehistoric land. The dinosaurs that inhabit this mystery land are all long-necked dinosaurs, You've probably heard of these mega beasts, as they are some of the most iconic dinosaurs. Come on, girl. Come on, up here, girl. Come on. Up here. God bless you! These necky boys belong to a group of dinosaurs called the sauropods. Here's a quick overview of the group if you don't know anything about them. Sauropods evolved sometime in the Triassic, but scientists aren't really fully sure when they did though. The major groups really diversified in the late Jurassic, and these include some of the most iconic sauropods such as Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus, or Diplodocus depending on how you say it. By the way, there's no right answer to how you say it, so don't come at me in the comments. By the late Cretaceous, the Titanosaurs became the dominant group of sauropods, and these beasties were some of the largest land animals to have ever existed. I don't think I've ever really comprehended how massive these animals actually were. Argentinosaurus, a titanosaur from the late Cretaceous of Argentina, was over 30 metres in length, with a shoulder height of over 7 metres, and weighing in between 50 and 100 tonnes. For context, an M1A1 Abrams battle tank weighs about 55 tonnes, and a double-decker bus from London weighs about 12. One common misconception about sauropods is that paleontologists often find whole skeletons, because that's what we see when we go to museums, but this just isn't the case. It's actually super rare to find sauropod skulls because they're so small and fragile, and some sauropod genuses are only actually known from isolated bones. This can lead to a lot of debate about the actual size and weight of these animals, and there are lots of arguments between scientists about which one is the largest or which one is the longest. It can also cause a lot of problems when working out the relationships between different species, with a famous example being the debate between paleontologists about whether Brontosaurus is a valid genus, or whether it should actually be called a Patosaurus. And here I was saying there wasn't going to be any science in today's episode. Anyway, I've really enjoyed Dino Game. It's a really fun time killer and it's about an hour's worth of game time. There are other secret ways to complete this game, so have a go yourself and leave a comment below if you work out all the different ways of getting to the spaceship. And if you've watched this and you'd like to have a go at Dino Game, you can get it on Steam or you can head over to Sock Pop's website and read up about all of their other brilliant games and their great Patreon system. As I said before, they publish a new game every month and I really recommend some of their other titles like Similand. As always, thank you so much for watching, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.